it's interesting because that's one of the questions we ask. It's like, we, we say, well, why does it have to be quiet? And one of the libraries is not quiet at all. In fact, they want it to be loud and interactive. They want it to be yeah, interactive. So yeah. they support Which that. Which one? The Hunt Library in North Carolina. They create, for example, very, very big, wide stairs that are more like amphitheaters. They want students to congregate there. They want to create places for serendipity where people will meet and talk and interact with their laptops and all the d devices that they freely give out to everybody, freely, to, bar to loan. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they have, for example, game designing. They have all of these interactive technologies all over the place. They want it to be a busy kind of, imagine being in Google like in their offices, not that I've been, but I think it's that kind of environment. They, that creates more creativity and innovation. That's what they wanted to create there. Mm -hmm. So if we go back to like, what is a library? I thought it was kind of neat because you think, um, well, geez, there's no more books. Maybe there's not gonna be, we don't need libraries. That's kind of one thing yeah. we kind of threw out there, right? The second was that um, it's one of the few public spaces there are. Where else do you go if you want to just, in a city, where can you go? I don't, right. A library is one yeah. of those. So those are really interesting things to explore. Um, and what we find is that the book is doing great, but it's also changing. There's all these other things happening, like I talked about, this kind of interactivity. And um, I think that those things are really exciting to explore. I mean, because it's not just about what it looks like or, or you know, what it's made of. I mean, that's, that's part of the architecture, but there are more fundamental questions. We've all been in libraries. We all have certain ideas about what a library is. Um, you have an idea that it should be quiet because that's the way it was, and maybe it's changing, and some of the libraries are, have quiet spaces. They also have other spaces that sort of meet new demands. Um, I think that that episode, I think, is really interesting because it sort of moves beyond aesthetics and, and things about form or these discussions. It's more fundamental questions, but mm -hmm. the architect and the owner are dealing and wrestling with those questions, undertaking serious kind of research, kind of evaluating well, what should a library be for the 21st century. That's kind of, I think that's kind of fun right. stuff. Now, every building, I mean, our, we architects like to think that we show up and suddenly this thing happens when the reality is that there's an owner, a city, a client that is thinking about something. We need this something, a football stadium, let's say for the Cowboys. We need this. Um, somewhere along the way, the architect is brought into the picture and there's a collaboration between these two groups. The design team, which is not just an architect, is a very big team. Now suddenly a lot of people are drawn into this project together. Now we can't sort of include everybody, but we do try to show the people behind the project. A director, a producer told me a long time ago, don't ever forget this, Stephen, that, that buildings are not stars. Mm -hmm. People do not identify with buildings, they identify with the people. Tell the story of the people. So mm -hmm. yes, we yeah. do then see the owner, the architect, the end user, and we try to tell the story from their perspective. Yeah. And when you see all three parts, architecture, yes, is a big part of it, the architects, but when you see all three parts, the owner, the architect, the end user, then you really get a feeling or an understanding for that building. I think that probably most people identify with the end user, not the architect, mm -hmm. right? I'm there to help hopefully tie it together and maybe be that, your guide, let's yeah. say. I'm an architect, but I'm kind of in between the architect and, yeah. and the audience, so that's my role.